I can't think of a more deserving person for the Press and Journal Gold Award Hall of Fame. This person's work with charity has made a positive impact on thousands of lives. They've been the champion for prosperity in Northeast Scotland and in the UK oil and gas industry. In fact, they've shaped the industry that we work in today. They've been the voice of realism and honesty and haven't been afraid to hold a mirror up to help us see our shortcomings. When the difficult things needed to be said, this person had the courage to say them. They did that with grace, courtesy, and respect. And as a result, regulators, government, industry peers listened and positive actions resulted. This person has been a friend of BP for many years, a friend of our industry for many years. And it gives me great pleasure to celebrate the achievement of this person's life. Standing on the shoulders of giants. My chairman used this expression to describe the debt that we have right across the Scottish business community for this award winner. There's no doubt that the path he established has given us a much better vantage point of the global business world and the opportunities it presents to us. He's one of the most accomplished and capable business leaders our country has produced in the last four decades. As important as to what he's achieved, however, is how he's achieved it. I would offer it's the personality of the man, the integrity, the fairness, the passion and the care that not only define him, but are at the core of the company that he established and they remain his enduring legacy. I first met this gentleman out in Trinidad, but it wasn't until quite a few years later that we got together in Aberdeen and we brainstormed this very interesting topic called maximizing economic recovery. Since then, it's been my honor to work very closely on implementation of that interesting topic, and through that, to work very closely with this gentleman. And what always stands out is an incredible work ethic. He works so hard, is so passionate, and really makes a difference. But combined with an amazing humility, and he is a brilliant listener. Now we got together with a bunch of people a couple of months ago at the Aberdeen Maggie Centre to reflect on his life and career. What stood out to all of us is the huge impact he's clearly made on the economy of the Northeast, but also very quietly, but very, very importantly, some of the charity work he's done. Witness, for example, the hundreds of thousands of people uh, that he's helped in East Africa through sustainable development and tree plantations. It's still early, however, to call on his full legacy because he's showing no signs of slowing down. Congratulations on all your amazing achievements so far. As the principal of Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen, I get to meet a lot of significant people, and there has been nobody more significant than the winner of this award, who has been a very important guide, advisor, supporter and mentor of the university, probably no one more significant than him. And of course, he's been a really powerful force in the northeast of Scotland, helping in particular to diversify the economy. And I would say that in years to come, people will look back on what we've achieved and will say that he has been the key driver of that change. So this individual has worked in the northeast of Scotland for the last five decades. I've been fortunate enough to work with him for the last three or four years. His input and influence on the region has been tremendous. And in actual fact, some of the best initiatives we've had over the last few years and some of the transformation of the oil and gas industry just would not have happened without the efforts, the passion, the commitment and the drive of this person. It's been an amazing opportunity to work with him over the last few years, to see his style, to uh, learn from all of his experience. He's come from, to be blunt, a different generation and to see how they approach business and the commitment to detail and his hands-on approach to all of his uh, endeavours really, I think, is a driving force behind his success. So to see him being recognised tonight and to have had the opportunity to work with them over the last few years is a real pleasure and it's great to be part of that.